this book is really a new dawn. It's the start of the canonized Star Wars books. Um, this particular book focuses on Kanan Jarrus and Harris and Dooley and their origins of how they met and how the Rebel Alliance basically started. Um, what's good about this book is if you're into the Star Wars Rebel series on uh, Disney XD, this is prior to that and kind of the origins of that team and that group, which is really cool. Um, I won't give you that many plot twists and things. Basically, the storyline and uh, settings um, is in a planet called Gorse, and that's where they stay the whole time during this book is between that planet and the moon planet which i forget off the top of my head but basically the empire is trying to get uh materials and supplies and resources for their imperial star fleet and their ships so they go to gorse for the supplies um kanan just working and is trying to just stay out of sight because he is a former jedi apprentice um before order 66 so it kind of gives you all the details of the like the post order 66 and where the universe is after the fact that all the jedi are exterminated so uh i'll give you the the main villain's name is count vidian very awesome uh villain he's he's a cyborg and he's not like a jedi or like a wielding force user he's just really awesome and very scary i guess um and you'll you'll learn what happens between him kanan and hera during this this book so um i really like this book i it's one of my favorite star wars books so far i've only been reading star wars for past three or four years so this book was really awesome it's a very good start to the canon series or the canon line whatever you want to call it and um i guess if I'd rate it, I'd give it a four, four and a half out of five. I mean, it's not amazing. Um, I think my my kind of disappointments of it are it's it's a very small world in this. Like they only fo focus on Gorsh instead of the whole universe in itself, which is fine. Um, the storyline is really awesome. It's um, really about how the Empire is affecting one world or one community and one one group of people, which is awesome. Um, besides that, I have no really disappointments of the book, and um, you should definitely check it out if you're a fan of Star Wars Rebels, like I said, or if you're just a general Star Wars fan. So, like I said, the book is A Star Wars, Star Wars A New Dawn by John Jackson Miller. So until next time, I'm Sean, and I will see you next time. Hi there, I'm your host, Sean Cordes, the Type 1 Pad 1. Happy New Year. Happy 2015. We made it through another one. And today, I have another book review for you. The book is Star Wars A New Dawn by John Jackson Miller. Uh, John Jackson Miller is a pretty pretty well-known Star Wars author. Um, he's written books like Kenobi and other popular ones. Uh, this book in particular is the first canonized uh, Star Wars book meaning it's not part of the Legends line, and anything that's put into these books is part of the Star Wars universe. If you'd like me to go into more detail about the difference between canon and Legends, I will do another video, just let me know. Anyways, this book is really awesome.